What's going on everyone? TurboSnipe1 here, and today I want to present to you a very special video to a very special game. Now in the past, I've played numerous racing titles, but over the years I felt as if content and gameplay got more shallow as time progressed. When I say numerous titles, these titles come down to almost every Need for Speed game, including the famous Underground 2, which had pretty much the best customization system in racing history, including old school customization like spinners or neon underlights which I still would want in a modern game. So you may ask, why is this video not a should you buy like my other videos? Well, I honestly cannot find any flaw in Forza Horizon 3, and looking for any complaints would be criticizing the game, or and I would be considered a critic. Forza does everything almost perfectly, down to hardcore simulation like racing, to adjusting your settings to full arcade mode so you can breeze through the entire game. So technically, this game doesn't necessarily have a story mode like you probably would want from Need for Speed Most Wanted, but instead it derives from earning fans. Yes, you take the roads to Australia and earn fans, and by earning these fans you open festivals which make you earn credit. Here's the thing though, you might say that it would be a so-called continuous grind, but the amount of cars in different ways you can play is endless. Every time you upgrade or open up a festival, you unlock more races and opportunities to drive more cars. The different varieties of vehicles are are endless, and there are so many to name, but cars down to like the Holden 50, 2160 FX UTE, the Jaguar MK2 3.8, and if you want to go to high-end exotics, there are cars like the all-known 2011 Bugatti Veyron Super Sport or the Lamborghini Aventador. Customization is endless and really impressive, and this game is even considered a simulation for real fabricators and for actual looking paint jobs that people can use. The amount of layers, decals, colors of paint, rims, logos are just so creative and different varieties can be made. Don't have that much time on you? Just download a completed layer from what someone has already completed and add it to, onto your car. The point is that the cars are there for you to choose from and customizations are limitless. What made me really happy was how they balanced the game out so you can choose any car to race at any time. Very few games with a season pass or DLC catches my eye, but if you want fast cars and a lot of badass looking cars in the beginning of the game, as soon as you boot that game up, the season pass including the car pass is there for you, which can still be unlocked in the game. For example, let's say I bought a car like the Ferrari Dino 246 GT, which isn't your everyday fast car, but in the Performance Index or aka PI, rated a 599C class, which is close to a B class. All other driver cars and all other AI, including exhibition races alongside championships, will have cars that are now C-Class. Now some races require different cars and the game will clearly tell you that okay, this race requires you to have supercars or muscle cars, A cars, B cars, and so on. The balance of how this game does racing is spot on almost flawless, and you may think that to yourself it would be cheating, but no, if you want a challenge, you can always tweak the difficulty settings to go more simulation-like racing if you choose to, and plus you gain bonus XP depending upon how harder you tweak the settings. The harder the settings, the more XP you get. Online is a breeze to play and is really fun. We even have co-op now, and it does and it does affect your solo offline career progress. I'll repeat this. We even have co-op and it does affect your solo offline career progress. Yes, that's right. Now a friend can hop on and you can now progress through your career mode with a friend and it'll still count. Again, there's the PI system to balance out multiplayer so no one won't be extraordinary when racing against you. If everyone's a C-class, everyone will be a C-class. There are races if you want to go all out to, to no limits where you can, uh, you know, a D-class can go up against the A-class and, you know, technically a D-class want to win but there are races like that for the people who have superiority. Forza Horizon 3 is personally a must buy and I highly recommend this game to any racing fan including people who are just minor fans to racing games. Forza Horizon 3 is just so rewarding in every single way and it's one of those few games out there where you don't have to pay to win. If you're out there and want a, racing, a great racing game, check out Forza Horizon 3. I definitely recommend this game. Go out and buy it, especially if you're not a fan of the racing series and you're just trying to get into racing games. Play Forza Horizon 3. You want realism? Play Forza Horizon 3. This game is literally one of my games for 2016 and literally one of the best racing games I've played in a long, long time. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And please leave in the comment section below what do you suggest for me to make in my next video. So I'll uh, see you guys and thank you.